The first thing I wanted to ask is uh, you're from Kentucky. Or so you've been watching the success that Kentucky's been having. Have uh, were you recruited uh, uh, heavily at all? Um, recruited by Kentucky, not not as much. Um, more of Louisville. I wasn't really recruited by Kentucky as much. So what made you choose Ohio State of all the different options that you had? Um, I chose Ohio State because I wanted to be a part of the Coach Mata era. Um, I know he's yet to win a national championship, and he's been he's been close. A uh, few years, um, so I feel like I can I can help him with the guys that's coming in with me. Also, just help him get there and get to the promised land. So, how do you see yourself uh, uh, playing and performing in your freshman year? Um, I feel like the program that Coach Mata has um, is built around guys that are um, good teammates and um, are willing to do whatever it takes to win. Um, whatever role you put them at. Um, they can do it and they can maintain their, their ability. So I feel like with me, I feel like the doors are wide open and all I have to do is take advantage and work hard. So I'm ready to do it. So for the audience who might not be familiar with uh, your skill set, what do you bring to the table uh, as, a, as a player? Um, I, people say I'm silky smooth, can a uh, scoring guard, I can score the ball, fill it up really fast. Um, I feel like I'm more of a, I try to be the smartest guy on the floor, even the ball's in my hand or not in my hand try to be the smartest guy and um, I feel like that takes your game to the next level so um, just with my with, just with that ability to, to to have the ball in my hands or without not have the ball in my hands and take advantage of both of them is just a, a blessing that God blessed me with so good if you could describe anything that you would would you would consider personal areas of improvement uh, what would those be um, I would definitely say my athleticism um, some people are born with bunnies or whatever you call it but um, I've probably actually had to work for everything that I've had, so it, it didn't come natural. But uh, we talked to a little bit about how you view yourself as, as a player, um, as a teammate, and as a as a person. What do you feel are your best character qualities that you bring to a group? Um, I feel like the best the best character qualities that I could bring to a group to a team would definitely be. Um, I feel like I'm always the the guy that keeps everybody going, the, the high energy guy and lead by example and if you if you're struggling with anything you can talk to me and I I try to talk and build people up um and I and I try to I try to get the same thing if if you feel like I'm not doing something right like let's talk about it or if you feel like you want to know like how I did something how I got to the point that I am or how how you got to the point I'm going to ask questions and I, I expect the same ask me questions so I feel like I, I feel like I just can do whatever it takes to do the to finish the objective so so I want to talk a little bit about passion. In terms of the game, what is it that you love about basketball? What makes you passionate to push yourself through adversity and, and kind of perform and do these things that aren't maybe necessarily normal, such as a you know situation like this? Um, the passion for the game is just it just came out of definitely um, just uh, issues on on the court, off the court. Um, maturing at a young age, at the age of 15, having to move to a boarding school by yourself. And um, just, I mean, it just forces you to mature early, um, especially with the talent that God's blessed me with. So I would say, I mean, I, like I said, God, I give all the credit to God. So that's about it. And um, maybe uh, off the court, something uh, not related to basketball. Is there something specifically that, that interests you, something that fascinates you, something else you're passionate about? Um, I mean, I love music. Uh, I'm willing to listen to any type of music. I, I just love music, and um, I like talking to my family whenever I get the chance. Cause I'm not, I'm never, I'm not around them as much. Um, my high school team's like a like a college team, so we travel. We travel so much, and um, so like there's two things I like to do: listen to music and talk to my family. Describe a little bit about the experience of uh, coming to McDonald's All-America game. I got to imagine it's somewhat of an honor to be chosen, but with this whole circuit, this, this off-season uh, tournament, to describe this particular uh, event itself and what it means. Um, this event's a, it's definitely an honor to be here, just to label yourself with the guys that's been here in previous years, and um, just like like I say, like not everybody here is going to be a pro, but it kind of opens the doors for you to. To, to get the opportunity to do interviews like this one and just like, like I said it opens many doors for you on and off the court and it just just like I, it teaches you not to take things for granted by going to the Ronald McDonald house and seeing the struggles of the kids and the families there so it's definitely an advantage that I want to take.
As a uh, prospective uh, high school graduate and a future collegiate, what are you looking forward to the most in terms of uh, actually moving away from home and actually in experiencing the, the college experience? Um, actually, I, I can't wait to get to college because I want to I wanna take the next level, take the next step with my game, just getting better with with a, um, a college coach that's had the experience and like that can prepare you for the next, next level, as such as the NBA. And I feel like, I mean, at high school level, you have guys that are just there just because they they just want to do it or they don't have anything to do. But in college, everybody's trying to get to the promised land. So um, you're forced to get better every day. So I can't wait to just take my game to another level. Last question. There's one thing you can uh, leave the audience with, something that uh, they might not know about you or something that they should know about you. What would that be? Um, I couldn't even tell you. Um, I'm an outgoing guy, um, and I like to have fun. I mean, that's, that's about it. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even tell you. Thank you very much for your time.